in the previous episode i have shown you how to set the driven key for your leg controller now select the left toe and parent it to the left leg controller select the right toe and parent it to the right leg controller now select the left shoulder controller copy the name press ctrl plus z to create a group and rename the group as left shoulder controller group do the same for the other hand and the other controller of the arm so i skip the video now select the left shoulder joint press shift plus p to unparent it and rename this one as main chain press ctrl plus d to duplicate it two times and rename this one as ik chain and other one fk chain now select this one main chain copy the name create a new layer from here by clicking on this icon double click and rename this one as main chain change the color to this color click save select this one create a new layer and rename this one as ik chain select this color and this one rename this one as create a new layer and rename this one as fk chain and make the color this one how turn of the visibility of ik and main chain by pressing on the v icon on the layer from the ik chain and the fk chain delete the hand join now select the fk chain first select the shoulder join shift select the shoulder controller group left shoulder controller group go to constraint open the parent constraint option box edit reset the setting keep maintain offset off click apply do the same for the other two join select these three controller go to vertex selection mode select all the vertices and rotate the controller as shown press the z key on your keyboard and rotate them by pressing j you will turn on the snap to angle option this will rotate your <coughs> object or anything with 15 degree interval now go to object mode this time select this three parent constraint group press delete now go to panel box and see freeze the tra transformation for the elbow wrist and the shoulder now select the elbow group and parent it to the left shoulder controller and select the left wrist controller group and parent it to the left elbow controller now this time again check the pivot point now select your shoulder controller this time shift select your shoulder joint constraint open parent constraint option edit reset the setting this time 
this time maintain offset on click apply do the same for the other two join this time select the shoulder join sorry shoulder controller try to rotate and see see it is affecting the whole joint chain now select this three controller and right click on your fk layer click add selected object and hide the fk chain now turn on the ik chain select this one press ctrl plus d to duplicate and move this one here now go to vertex selection mode select the vertices as shown scale tool scale them select all the vertices and scale press v on your keyboard and snap it to the wrist joint freeze the transformation first select the wrist join shift select your controller go to constraint parent constraint maintain offset off click apply rename this one as left wrist ik handle ik controller press control plus z to create a group and rename the group as left ik controller group now go to skeleton create ik handle reset the tool click one point at the shoulder joint and another at the wrist joint select the ik handle and parent it to the left ik controller now select the left ik controller try to move and see it is rotating along the wrong direction so rotate this one 180 degree minus 180 degree along x axis now go to vertex selection mode select the vertices of the controller and rotate it press j on your keyboard this will rotate your controller with 15 degree interval rotate as shown now go to object mode now go to create type and type here l select geometry go down click create curve from the type select this one select the geometry press delete select the text and scale it center the pivot scale it go to side view move it up move back just here go to front view move it here now go to perspective view slightly move back freeze the transformation delete history center pivot with selected this one go to modify click add attribute 
एंड टाइप हेयर आई के एफ के सुइस मिनिमम वैल्यू जीरो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू वन क्लिक एड योर एट्रीब्यूट विल बी एडेड ऑन द चैनल बॉक्स सी आई के एफ के सुइस नाउ सेलेक्ट द शोल्डर एफ के shoulder ik and the left shoulder main go to constraint open parent constraint option maintain offset off click apply do the same for the other two joint Rename this one as IKFK Swiss. Left IKFK Swiss. Select this one, the controller. Go to Windows, Node Editor. Add selected node to the graph. Remove the shape node. Select this three parent constraint from the main joint chain. Click Add selected node to the graph. Expand them. and connect ikfk switch to the left shoulder ik elbow ik and the wrist ik now press tab key on your keyboard and take a reverse node enlarge the node and connect ikfk switch to input 1x and output x to the shoulder fk elbow fk and the wrist fk now select your unhide your fk chain and also the main chain now select your left shoulder controller group here is the left shoulder controller group click add selected node to the graph and connect output x to visibility and select the left ik controller group click add selected node to the graph expand it and ik fk switch to visibility now minimize the node editor select the ik fk switch try to make change the value and see the effect see In this process you can create IKFK switch in Maya 2025